okay, I'm doing okay, but. So ASICS basically reached out to us um, a few weeks ago, a couple months ago, saying that um, they wanted me to race, to race Tokyo. And that's part of like, not only, you know, meeting the experience of racing Tokyo, uh, because of course ASICS is a, a big partner of the Tokyo Marathon, but also um, about the, the history that ASICS wants to put together about a new product coming up earlier next year. And so they thought it would be a nice opportunity because we're like quite connect connected to the, the product sphere and the review thing um, to have us like talk about the product and me racing Tokyo and all of that combined together in a nice, in a nice story, uh, telling the audience about the experience, right? Uh, how it goes racing, preparing for a marathon with the new product, the ASICS lineup, and, and then the marathon experience as such in Tokyo. We were in Austin, Texas, because we were following the running event, and you may be wondering why we're here, um, and that's because uh, this is basically the first run of an interesting build-up. We basically got the reply for, for my registration for the Tokyo Marathon, um, and this was two days ago. It was a bit of a funny story because my registration link was broken and ASICS had to send me a new one. Um, but it was like super late here um, at night. It was uh, in the middle of the night in Europe. Um, so it was a bit tricky and the deadline was quite a you know strict one. So I had to register like 2 a.m. in the morning here and I entered with a 40 minute buffer uh, compared to the, to the deadline. But uh, that's, that's just for the funny story. Long story short, this is basically the first run of the Tokyo build-up now for me. And I feel like this is, you know, maybe an interesting thing to have in the Tokyo series. So this is why we're doing this now. When I raced in Berlin in 2019, I ended up with a two hours and 50 minutes marathon time, which I was happy with. And I, always thought since then that I someday will improve it. And of course, my goal in Tokyo is to improve it. I'm too competitive to just look at the same ballpark. I want to go as low as I can, but I'm also aware of where I'm coming from. And I haven't carried a ton of fitness into that Tokyo training block. So I'm starting the training block with, you know, an injury that is on the, on the end. I'm starting that finish block with a, a high amount of fatigue that I'm carrying, carrying and carrying because of high work volumes and, you know, a, a life balance that is not optimal. So I know that this is not the ideal setup to directly dream of like crazy numbers. I would like to, to beat my best and set a new personal best. I cannot give you a number. Um, anything sub 250 will be an achievement with that goal in mind, but I don't have a specific number in mind. Hey. How was the run? It was, um, it was okay. It was okay. No pain in the foot. That's already like thumbs up. And then, you know, six kilometers, 6.1 kilometers, 507 pace, like 31 minutes. It is what it is. It's not exactly the, the easy pace of before the injury, but you know, it's, it's just you, you need to accept. Um, heart rate was a bit through the roof, but same here, you need to accept. I was like, I think the sensor is broken, but of course the sensor is not broken. It's like my heart rate and just the image of how your fitness goes down when you're returning for an injury. So partnering up with ASICS, of course, is related to shoes and the shoe they're bringing, which I will most likely find back home when we're flying here back from Austin. There is some excitement about it. I saw the shoe here in Austin. I don't know what it is, how it works. I don't know how it's made, but of course I'm like a kid. I will be, you know, unboxing it, looking at it, like every aspect. I will play with it like a kid and then I will just go for a first run, get some sensations with the shoe, see how it works. Wow, this is some proper packaging here. Here it is. Look at that box. ASICS here. Let's see. Ooh. That's something. 
Ooh. Lovely. Nothing feels better. That's nice. I'm very lucky that ASICS has a very comprehensive lineup. And this will be, of course, one of the key shoes I will be using. The secret shoe that um, we will be unboxing in here in, in Brussels in a few days. But I know myself and I know that I will also be using other ASICS shoes in this preparation, in this build towards Tokyo. And again, I'm saying it, I'm super lucky that we have the opportunity to work with ASICS because they have such a comprehensive lineup. There you go. What do you think of the ASICS secret shoe right here? Um, super, super nice clean look with that white colorway. And it feels, it feels very squishy under my thumb. Uh, let's see how it twists. Not so much a forefoot flexion, not so much a twist, just a little bit. Very, quite stout heel counter here. A bit more pliable at the top and Seems like a very comfortable upper, to be honest, uh, just with my hand. But I'm gonna put the shoes on here in a second. You know, rocking a pair of jeans here and nothing fancy, but I'm gonna start walking with them in my house, just like I do with almost every shoe I receive. And I'm gonna share some initial impressions with you. Here we go. All right, let me show you how it looks here. All right, they feel good, to be honest. They feel very comfortable. The stepping feel, first initial impressions, very, very positive. Um, lots of comfort, the upper is super nice, um, super, you know, soft against my foot, so this is very nice. They feel a bit roomy, something I, I would expect for a daily trainer, maybe on the, on the higher side of, of roomy uh, for a daily trainer. Uh, and the midsole, this is just walking again, so, you know, nothing very fancy. It feels soft, it definitely feels soft. Um, it makes it feel like it doesn't have as much drop as it has because of that heel sinking in very deeply and making it feel a bit, a bit more flat when walking. It's gonna be different when running for sure. Uh, let me show you some, some close-ups now. End of the first week of training, out of 12 weeks in this block, I am doing okay, but there is a but. Um, I'm not sure, to be honest, how this is gonna go with the, with the foot. For now, it is painful pretty much after every run, but the day after I don't have any pain anymore, which is good, but I cannot run more than three days in a row, and that's really, really an issue when you need to run essentially every day or six days in the week and rest one day. First day today with the secret shoe from ASICS. That's also one reason I wanted to have you with me today. Um, I received some winter clothes from ASICS. We're gonna unbox them together and then go out for a first run in the secret shoe. I'm gonna go with Mary for a run today, which is perfect for me because uh, her easy pace is like my very, very, very recovery pace. And that's very good. That's what I need. I need some easy miles today. Yesterday I did like some two minutes reps at around threshold. Um, you can check the numbers on, on Strava, but the numbers were not amazing. Um, but yeah, five of my two minutes threshold pace, uh, threshold power. And today I need to have some very, very easy miles. Um, so I'm gonna go do them with Mary in a nice park here close to Brussels. Let's do it like this, three, two, one. Here I am dressed up, ready to go. Let's go for that easy run and I will follow up after that with some small tiny insights on how the shoes are.
Alex. Hey, how are you? I'm good. How, how was your foot? How are you? Uh, to be honest, it hurts. 